Passing through the portal gates into an old English village, you might see the villagers scurrying about preparing for a special occasion, like the arrival of the king and queen. It is a time when the knights are noble, the maids are merry, and the air is filled with anticipation. Only, you're not in England. You're in Todd Mission, Texas. And it's not the Renaissance period, it's a Renaissance festival. Not just any Renaissance festival, this is the famous Texas Renaissance Festival. We don't use Renaissance as a time period. We use it as a rebirth of everything that's classical that's come before us. So we can celebrate lots of different things throughout history, like an Oktoberfest celebration, a Roman Bacchanal. We can have a fantasy celebration. We can have an All Hallows Eve celebration. So we really don't let history dictate what we do out here. If you've never been to a Renaissance festival before, you're missing out on a family-friendly experience that takes you back in time to the days of Henry VIII or Queen Elizabeth I. They are typically weekend gatherings that feature an abundance of costumed entertainers, arts and handicrafts, and of course, great festival foods. Once you walk through the gates, I mean, the, the magic of this place, I mean, if you've not experienced the Texas Renaissance Festival, just the architecture alone is enough to put you in awe. Then you meet all of these characters and all these shopkeepers and innkeepers, and you see the stage acts, and you eat some of the food. I mean, it's just a, a fantastical experience from the moment you enter the gate. The Texas Renaissance Festival has been taking place since 1974, and it is billed as the nation's largest Renaissance theme park. Here, the sights and sounds, tastes and beauty of the 16th century come alive for eight magically themed weekends during October and November. When we originated these things, we kind of looked around at our audience and say, okay, what is our audience coming to the Renaissance Festival as? Well, they're coming as barbarians, they're coming as pirates, they're coming as Scots, they're coming as fairies, they're coming as, as Romans and togas. And, and Greeks, and so we kind of let our audience decide where we were going to go with this, and it's been highly successful. And we shall begin our show with a club juggling spectacular! The festival welcomes nearly half a million guests annually and features nearly 500 costumed performers on 17 stages. 340 shops, including international food purveyors, unique artisans, merchants, and craft vendors, human-powered rides, an abundance of strolling entertainers, and the royal finale at dusk. I've seen this, you know, this place grow from, you know, maybe five, six acres to the 55-acre park we are right now, and I've seen the audience grow with this as well, and, and grow throughout the ages. The magic is still here, even after what, this is my 33rd year, I mean, I still get that same excited feeling when the festival gates open. The, the beauty of the Renaissance Festival is everybody here is family. We call it family. And we love these people more than words could even say. One of the more memorable experiences of any fair is the food, and the Texas Renaissance Festival is no exception. You'll feast like a king on every kind of food imaginable representing different parts of the world. We feature almost all the nationalities that, you know, made the Renaissance famous. I mean, we have England and Scotland and France and Germany, and all of those nations have food represented out here. There's food areas that represent each of those areas, and you literally can eat your way across the continent. It's fun to prepare neat foods, different foods. Each year we try to come up with something new and exciting, and all the cooks in the kitchen, and it's, it's a seasonal thing, so they're, everybody here is like family, and you, you don't see them for a whole year, and then it starts back up, and it just gets in your blood, and you, you just come back all the time. In addition to the food, rides, and games, artisans and craftsmakers abound in the village. Everything from leather work, metal work, and sculptures to portraits, woodwork, and clothing. I mean, they come from all walks of life. Some actually travel on the circuit. They'll go from Renaissance Festival to Renaissance Festival. Some of our artists and craftsmen are particular to this show. The Texas Renaissance Festival is representing the past while trending into the future. It has added a number of new attractions for the current season and is always looking to improve the experience for its guests. They've even added a mobile app to make it easier to navigate the property. Well, this year, we've rebuilt our Globe stage. The Globe stage was one of our original stages, dating back some 30-odd years. But we rebuilt it from the ground up. We paid homage to Shakespeare's Globe in London. We also have a new sit-down restaurant called the Hacienda San Jorge. It's featuring uh, 
with kind of a taste of the new world. You can actually go in there, get a table. Some wait staff will come up and serve you and take your drink order and actually eat with real utensils. Eat something at a Renaissance festival that's not on a stick. Travel back in time when the order of the day was eat, drink, and be merry. Visit the Texas Renaissance Festival for an experience the whole family will enjoy. To learn more about the Texas Renaissance Festival, visit texrenfest.com.